Today your goal is to make a wire base figure for your Olympic figure. And so the first thing you need to do is just get a block of wood. That you're going to staple gun your figure onto this. And the edges are a little rough, so you may want to just take a minute or two and just kind of sand off the rough edges so you don't get splinters in your fingers. So just it, you don't need to sand it much. Um, and if you're allergic to dust, let me know. You can sand it in the hood. But there's one uh, sheet of sandpaper for every table, so share that. So I've sanded my piece. Now I'm going to make my wire figure. And what I have is some guides to help you. The first thing that I did was I ordered these models. There's one per table to help you to get your figure the way you want it to be. And so you can you, you can adjust it. You can make it move a little bit. Um, please be gentle with them, though, because the first time I handed these out, someone broke one, snapped off an arm and a leg. So they're not super durable, um, but they're, they will help you to get your figure to do what you want it to do. We're going to make a wire structure, and I have a guide for every table. And this guide, I use this model to come up with this guide. But what I've learned since is that actually I studied some documents on proportion of a human body, and this wooden model is a little short. The average adult human is about seven heads tall or seven and a half heads tall. This is not quite that tall. So you may want to make it a little bit taller, but keep in mind your athlete. Like if, if you are doing a tiny little athlete, you could make it smart, smaller than this. And if you were doing a, if you know your athlete's really tall, you could make it a little bit bigger than this. But this is a basic guide. And you're going to um, first cut about 30 inches for the body. And there's two different thicknesses of wire. There's the uh, 14 gauge, which is very strong, and that would be good for the legs. And then there's a thinner wire that's 16 gauge, and this would be okay for the arms, as long as the arms aren't supporting a lot of weight. If you're doing something like the bobsled where the person is all, a lot of their weights on their arms you may want to use the heavy wire for both so I cut this piece to 30 inches and there's a piece of tape on every table and I did mark I put a piece of masking tape on every table and this is 30 inches to the end of the table this is 18 inches for the arms you can use the 16 gauge thinner wire and then on this end I marked stovepipe wire. You're going to wrap that around the body to kind of keep it intact. So I have, I've already cut my 30 inch long piece for my body, so now I'm going to get the thinner wire. And by the way, the th you can use the thicker wire for both, um, but some kids find it hard. If you don't have very strong hands, you might want to use the thinner wire. There are two rolls of 16 gauge, so you'll have to kind of look around, but every table has a roll of 14 gauge. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to use my guide on the table, and I'm going to cut this to be 18 inches, so I'm measuring, and I'm going to use my wire cutter, and I'm going to use the jaw, and I'm going to snip this piece at 18 inches. So now I have my two pieces of wire cut. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bend my arms. And it's important that I follow this paper guide. Otherwise, my arms will end up being too short. So the first thing I'm going to do is just fold it in half. And that's going to be the fold actually is going to be like my torso. So I fold this. And that's going to be this part of the body. And then I look where my shoulders are, and I bend it down. So I take this, and I bend it. Now, the 16 gauge is pretty easy. I can just use my fingers, and I can just bend it. So there. Use this paper guide. Every table has one. Otherwise, a common mistake is to make the torso too long and the arms too short. So I'm... I'm using my guide to make sure that my arms are long enough. So let me move the camera a little. 
So I have my arms made. Now I'm going to make my body with the heavier wire. And first I'm going to just fold it in half. And that top fold is going to be the head. And so I'm going to... It's a lot stiffer, you're going to feel. But you do need that strength so the legs will support your piece. So I'm going to just kind of squeeze it. And you can use a pliers if you need to, but I think you can just squeeze it with your hands. Now, you're going to build the head up with paper clay, so don't worry if it's a flat head. And now I'm going to um, add the arms, and I'm going to wire it all together. And usually what I do is I'll bend the arms out of the way just so it's a little bit easier to wrap. Now I'm going to cut my 12 inches of stove pipe wire. That's a thin black wire. So I'm going, to, it, I'm going to measure. And by the way, there's only two spools of this. So just there, it, uh, kind of share. So I'm going to cut a piece about 12 inches long. I'm using my guide on the table. Or you could use a ruler. And this is just simply going to wrap around and around to attach my arms to my body. So I'm going to just grab it and I'm going to just wrap. And I can use a pliers too. If I'm having trouble with this, I can grab it with the pliers and I can kind of squeeze it and then I can wrap around and around. So I'm going to just wrap it around and around it pretty tight because I don't want it to fall apart. So I'm just wrapping. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And careful not to poke myself in the face or the eye, especially like work carefully. So I'm just twisting it nice and tight. And I'm just using my hands. My hands are pretty strong. I could maybe squeeze a little bit here. Now what I want is I want my arms to be pretty tight. Like that feels good. Like they don't slip around because I really twisted it pretty hard. And if I feel like my hands aren't strong enough, I could, you know, squeeze it. So there I have my my body. Now I'm going to make the loops for my feet. And I as you can see, I discovered that if I want it to be like a human proportion, I need to make it a little taller than my wooden model. So I'm going to grab down here and I'm going to make the feet. Make a loop for the foot and then I'm going to flatten it so I can attach it to my board. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to staple it onto my wooden board with a staple gun. And this might be a little tricky because all my heavy-duty staple guns got broken the last time I did this unit. So we started using this light-duty staple gun, just a light duty one, and we kind of pound it with the hammer. So you put it here and you put a bunch of staples in, and then you might have to tap the staples in a little bit so your piece doesn't fall off. So if you can get this made today, that's excellent and you're going to write your name on your block of wood with a sharpie. If you can't get everything done, what I had my students do yesterday was just take a piece of masking tape and write their name on the tape, tape all their pieces of wire together and put it in our cubby so that you don't lose the pieces that you carefully cut. Okay, thank you.